Welcome to our tools and today we are learning the burn tool in Photoshop. The burn tool is located here in the toolbar and its shortcut is O. With the burn tool we can darken pixels. I'll take the burn tool here and paint on it to make this region darker. So now this is a darker shade of blue. Similarly I want to darken the reds here and then the yellow. Now we'll look at the range options. First, let's select shadows. This means that the burn tool will mainly darken the darker regions of the image. This region is dark and I want to darken it even further without affecting these lighter areas much. So just to show you, I'm going to take the burn tool here on the lighter region. And as I click and drag, you can see that there's hardly any darkening in this brighter region. I'll drag the burn tool forward. And now you can see how this dark region is darkening. I'll keep moving the burn tool and take it to the brighter region again. And there's no darkening here. Let's keep moving. So darkening the dark region. And no darkening in the bright areas. Darkening. No darkening. Darkening again. No darkening in the bright areas. And darkening the darks again. Now the range options are not very rigid. Let me show you what I mean by selecting highlights. The highlights option is supposed to darken only the bright regions. So I'm going to take the burn tool and try to darken this bright region here. And it has worked as expected. But will the highlights option darken this dark region? Let's find out. So it doesn't. But will the highlights option darken the midtones? I'm gonna go and check. Sadly, it does. So the burn tool is not very accurate, right? I'm gonna show the result with other ranges too. Let's select shadows. This option suggests that the burn tool will darken only the dark regions. So I'm gonna take the burn tool and paint here. And there you go. The dark pixels have indeed darkened. But does the shadows option darken the highlights? No, it doesn't. Last, we'll check the midtones to see if the shadows option has any effect on midtones. Unfortunately, it has. Last, we're going to try the midtones range. As the name suggests, it should darken only the midtones, right? So I'll go and paint here. And it perfectly darkens the midtones. Does the midtones range darken the bright pixels? No, it doesn't. Does the midtones range darken the dark regions? Unfortunately, it does a little bit. So you can see that the ranges are not always precise and accurate. Instead of saying the highlights range only darkens the bright areas, we should say that the highlights range mainly darkens the bright areas. Similarly, the shadows range mostly darkens the dark regions, and the midtones range mostly darkens the midtones. Let's take an example. First, we're going to select the shadows range. And I expect these dark areas are going to be darkened the most. So there will be least darkening of the highlights, maybe a little bit darkening of the midtones, but the most darkening will happen in these dark regions. So I'm going to take the burn tool and paint over the image. And there you go. So this was the before. And this is the after. Next, we are going to select the midtones range. It is mostly going to darken the midtones, right? The dark regions and the highlights are going to be the least affected. So, if you want to compare, this was with the shadows range, and this with the midtones range. Last, we're going to try the highlights range. And this is mainly going to darken the bright areas while the midtones and the dark regions are going to be least affected. So let's paint the image with the burn tool. There you go. And if you want to compare, this was with the midtones range and this with the highlights range. And of course, this is our original image. 
Next, we're going to look at the exposure option. Exposure determines how dark the image is going to get. I have exposure at full strength, that is 100%. You can select any of the three ranges. I'm just using highlights. So now with 100% exposure, I'm going to darken this region. And this is how it looks. Next, I'm going to turn the exposure down to 1%. Let's darken the same region with that. And you can see that the darkening is so faint. Next, we're going to look at protect tones. It's checked right now and I'm using shadows for this example. While the burn tool is darkening, it doesn't destroy the tones or colors of the image. You'll see what I mean when I uncheck protect tones. So let's do that. And now as I use the burn tool, you can see that the colors are all frying up. So this was with protect tones, this without protect tones. And this is all I have for today. Make sure to check the other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.